guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, this one is my first, actually this is my first piece that I have uh, drawn and recorded in the new house. We moved about a month ago. And, um, and then shortly after we moved, I ended up going up to New York with my sister right after Easter. So when I came home last Tuesday, everything was, like my whole room was still in boxes and my entire art space was not set up. So um, over the last few days, I've been setting that up and figured I would give the new setup a try. Um, so I apologize for the lighting in the very beginning, although if anyone is on the fence on lights and if they think the, your light doesn't matter, it does. So my room was just set up with normal, normal bulbs. Um, and then I was thinking, I don't know if I really like this, it's given that yellowish tint. and. I went out and got daylight bulbs thinking, you know, everyone always says stuff about daylight bulbs, but I was thinking, eh, I don't know if there would be much of a difference. Such a big difference. <laughs> if you guys can see right here, like, the difference in just the lighting alone is crazy. Um, so if you guys are, if anyone is like, I don't know what kind of lighting, definitely work with daylight bulbs, daylight lighting. If you can get natural daylight, that's great, but it's been pretty rainy here in Atlanta. Um, and we're not seeing too much sun. I mean, we saw it a little bit today, but it's just been constant, and tomorrow is going to be even worse. But, so a little little information about this piece. Uh, a couple different inspirations kind of went into this piece. I was working on some headgears, headgear pieces, for like 1920s headgear, and I thought I saw this hat, and I immediately thought of my little witch illustration that I'm working on. But I, she's kind of an autumn witch, and... My first thought was, I don't want to do an autumn witch, it's spring, and my birthday's in spring, my birthday's May 25th, and my aunt's birthday is the day after mine, May 26th, and so this was kind of like, this was, this was for us, <laughs> you know, this was like our spring witch, and she, like my aunt is a big fan of yellow, and anytime I think of her, I think of sunflowers, um, and I've been dealing with a lot of internal struggles right now. I've been dealing with uh, my own depression recently and just sunflowers alone have always helped me. So this was kind of just homing all of that in and just think, you know, this spring and flowers and sunflowers and just, you know, like bright yellow and it was just helping me deal with my own demons. Um, and as for, you know, the, the background, completely different thing. So whenever, I, I love, when I do digital art, for some reason, I love doing backgrounds smaller than the characters. Like, it's just very aesthetically pleasing to me. And I never really thought about it with watercolors because, you know, you have the tape on the edges and I'm like, can you just go to the edges? And so this time I was like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the smaller background. So it meant, you know, I was like trying to figure out how to do that and like laying down masking fluid on it. But like at first I tried using a ruler and it was just like not going well with the masking fluids. I just like freehanded and I'm like, this will be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> but uh, it, gave, it definitely, it's, it's cute and it gives a cute little look because it gives that nice, that smaller background and the character is like, you know, larger than life type feel. Um... <clears throat> I use my acrylic ink for the background for the most part. I mean, I have some uh, mixed in with some of my blue watercolors, but that acrylic purple. And I carried that acrylic ink in like through everything. Anything that was like any shadows, I would like add a little bit of the acrylic ink or just like, just try and add that like pop of purple in everything to like try and keep everything harmonized, you know? Um, color theory and har harmonies definitely not my strong suit, but if I can, you know, try and keep certain colors constant, that's what I'll do. And speaking of harmonizing, so the whole idea, the whole theme was essentially sunflower, 
uh, that's what I was going with. That's what was in my head was just like constantly sunflower. And she's a sunflower. Uh, the fact that she's a witch is like secondhand. It's like, nope, she is a sunflower. Um, so even down to her very outfit, um, when I was choosing colors, like I knew her main color was yellow because once again, sunflowers. So choosing her outfit, I was like, oh, it's going to be like pale yellows and like dark browns, like kind of like it's like a leathery feel, you know, just trying to keep that whole color scheme consistent, um, which I think I did pretty well, I hope. So drawing these sunflowers um, made me realize, well, I definitely didn't realize it when I was drawing these sunflowers, I can tell you that. Uh, as much as I love flowers and flower art, and I'm always drawing it, I always feel like I cheat when I draw flowers, you know, I'm always like, I never really look at references, I never really look, I'm just like, this is what a flower looks like, sure, it's got petals and it's got a bulb, you know, <laughs> but I never like really look. Um, so I was actually thinking of kind of challenging myself for the month of June and drawing flowers every day, you know, trying to draw a new flower every day. And, uh, but the biggest thing is kind of like maybe painting flowers. I would like to start painting flowers more. Um, especially like, I love watercolor roses. I always love the way they look. Not that I haven't, I haven't done a watercolor rose yet so that's something that um actually my next piece has got what roses in it just for that reason so i think i'm going to start challenging myself to draw more flowers in all of my pieces if i can if i can manage it to try and practice more practice those flowers because that's something i'm i'm weaker at i'm weaker at flowers um and i love i love flowers i love the way they look I love when people do flowers, I'm always like, yes, that's so, that's so pretty. <laughs> so I definitely am going to challenge myself a bit and start trying to really incorporate flowers in more of my pieces just so I can really understand them better and, you know, really, uh, and the biggest thing is reference. I'm going to, you know, I need to paint from reference. I need to draw from references when it comes to flowers instead of my mind and my imagination and my memory because, you know, it's not, you can definitely tell it's a sunflower, but I would like to be able to get all of the properties correct in the flower. So that's something you'll be seeing more from me, hopefully. <laughs> um, oh, also, shout out on her jewelry. Her jewelry, and you see, like, she's wearing a choker. Uh, my cousin up in New York, she started her own business and jewelry, and she makes, she uses like all these natural stones and amethyst and quartz, and she knows all the properties to all of these stones. She's amazing, but all of her stuff is super cute, and I love it to the point that I was like incorporating it in my own art. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link down below, but yeah, that's Artillery con Couture, Artillery Couture. Um, but I'll definitely link uh, to her Instagram because she does a great photographs of her jewelry and everything. And it's great for anyone, like, if you're A, you're looking for jewelry, it's great. Uh, but also if you're, you know, looking for inspiration on putting jewelry on your characters, definitely check out her Instagram page.
So she will be available. Sunflower Witch will be available uh, on my Etsy store. Um, I'm going to have prints of her as well. Uh, but the original will be available to buy. I'll put a link down there for that as well. But yeah, um, I'm not going to do any hand embellished prints on this one. But I think she's cute. She's very colorful and vibrant. Alright guys, so please subscribe. I will hopefully be coming out with another video soon now that I'm all settled into the new uh, studio. And I will see you guys later.